In this video, we're going to take a look at how easy it is to import components from one course into another. This includes courses that you've taught in the past and courses that your colleagues are teaching. In order to import components from a colleague's course, you need to be added into that course as a teacher by your colleague. Once you've been added to their course, you'll be able to search their course for the components that you want to copy to your own courses. To get started, click on the Edit Course icon on the top navigation bar. Then look for Import, Export, Copy Components. If you're importing from a colleague's course and you've been added to their course as a teacher, you'll be able to click on the Search for Offering button, and then all you need to do is type in the course code. For this example, I'm going to import from one of my math courses. Click on Search. I'm going to make sure I select the correct one. Here's a master course that I enrolled in, but I'm going to import from one of my own courses and then add selected. Now I'm going to scroll down and I don't want to import all of the components. I just want to import a few of the components. So I'm going to click on the select components button and I'll be able to go through all of the different components in that course and select which components I want to copy over to this shell. So I want to bring over a few of the content items and I want to be able to select which content items I copy over. I also want to include any associated files. So if I have pictures or videos embedded on those pages, I want to make sure that they come over as well. I also want to copy over some of the quizzes that I've created. Again, I'm going to select individual items to copy and I'm going to make sure that the checkbox for include associated files is checked. Now I'll click on continue. I'm going to be able to go through each one of the component types and select which items I want to copy. Now all I need to do is click on finish and those items will be copied over into this shell. The copying progress can take some time but when it's done you'll be able to see that there's a green check mark beside the import. You'll have the option to go back and copy more items or you can just get to work using the items that you've copied over. Hope this video has helped. If you have any other questions, make sure you ask.